All right. The most important thing to remember when soldering copper fittings is to have the pipe and the fitting clean, clean, clean before you start the project. After you solder them, you don't touch them with your hands. So you solder it and get it clean, and then you put a nice thin layer of flux on both the copper and inside the fitting that you're going to solder together. Get a little swish around there. When you can, when you assemble them, you give them a little rotation when you put them together. And what we're going to do here is, is we're soldering uphill to show how well, how easy it is for the solder to flow up into a joint. Um, so we heat the fitting, and as you're, you're heating the fitting, that's the copper tubing, and you have to get it up to such a temperature that the solder will flow from the opposite side of the heat. That way you know that you have it up to full temperature and you won't have a cold joint. So, Sam's heating this. Here we go. The solder's starting to flow. So now we back off in the heat while we're still adding a little solder. We want the solder to go all the way around, which you can see. And then you give it a little bit more heat and you wipe off the excess solder, your drips. There, I don't like it. There you go. Watch your eyes. One more time. There you go. Good. And there we have it. One soldered joint.